um, do is, now we could go at, I would recommend graphing this to help us identify the points. So remember, one is the distance from the center, so that's going to be on the first outer ring. And then the angle is going to be negative pi over 4. Well, we remember what pi over 4 was. Pi over 4 was right there. Right? So negative pi over 4 is going to be right there. Would everybody agree with me? So therefore, I have this point here. It's right there. So my one point is pi comma negative pi over 4. Well, what we could do is we could also do the positive angle. Instead of doing the negative, we could also say, what about the positive angle? Because right there, that's the negative form, right? So the distance from the center is still going to be 1. But the positive form of this, so again, if, all the way, if halfway around the circle is pi, or 4 pi over 4, all the way around the circle is 2 pi, or 8 pi over 4, if I'm pi over 4 or short away, that means I'm at 7 pi. So that's one angle. Now, could you do infinite many of these? Could you keep on adding like 360 or 2 pi to that? And you get infinite many angles. The other angle uh, you can see on your on over here that I ask you to do is also give me one where the net where the angle is negative. So what happens is when we do a negative, what we're doing is negating the answer to be up in this direction. So we can rewrite this as negative 1, that's going to represent this point, and then we just need to figure out this angle. Well, again, guys, if here to here is pi over 4, then what do you think that is? That's also going to be pi over 4. So if halfway around a circle is 4 pi over 4, if I'm pi over 4 short, I'm at 3 pi over short, 3 pi over 4. And again, if you're like, ah, I'm not sure if I did this correctly, or so forth, again, remember, we can check our answers, right? x equals r cosine of theta. Do x equals 1. Do cosine of 7 pi over 4. And also do 1, x equals negative 1 times cosine of 3 pi over 4. Do those in your calculator and make sure that you did them correctly. Ah, oh, look at the video we're dedicating to. So we dedicated a video to you because we didn't know if you are going to be here. So if you plug those into your calculator, you can say, oh, they're exactly the same. So therefore, I can verify, yes, I did do that correctly. Okay. Does that kind of make a little bit of sense?